uh, one of the dangers sometimes of teaching online is that uh, if an instructor doesn't have a face, a student might not have a face either. They're just someone submitting papers. You don't really know who this person is. You don't really necessarily know how their ideas are developing or how their mind is working beyond what they're showing you in these discrete assignments. So discussion board, I think, gives you more insight into the student's uh, thought process. It gives you more insight into how he or she is developing learning-wise. We've got students from all over the world. Um, we've got students who might be, you know, deployed and they might be over in, you know, South Korea. A lot of our online students are taking these classes because it's specifically career driven. And so some of them may already be in the career that they're taking classes toward. And some may not, but are looking to become a member of that career field. It's, it's that piece, that, that opportunity to engage with their instructor, to engage with their peers, um, and, and share ideas, take risks. And so one side with the experience and the other side with the desire and passion can come together and learn from each other. So one of the reasons that we have that, that discussion is to help sort of facilitate that classroom feel. But I think in, in online courses it's, it's particularly important to have that piece of, of that feedback mechanism built in where students are able to to not only engage with the content but ask questions where the instructor can come in and help clarify maybe perform some formative assessment uh, within you know the framework of that discussion board this is kind of that chance to kind of demonstrate that they they're starting to understand that before we give them an assignment or or a quiz on it so what are some best practices for writing discussion prompts I think again, it, it goes back to creating discussion questions that are that are engaging and interesting. Provokes that sense of of, of curiosity in a student and, and uh, kind of pokes them and makes them want to answer and share their knowledge. When you're thinking about a discussion board post, it's got to at least be open-ended for starters. It has to be able to have something that a student can come in and write and expound and, and explain and give some justification for their answer. I think too a good way to to frame discussion prompts is to base them on a current event or something that is applicable in the uh, in the field or in the student's area of, of professional interest. It should also ideally open up conversation. Um, there should be room for for um, not conflict but for disagreement and for students to be able to hash out why they feel the way they do about something. Also ask them to include some things like experience or opinion that are going to pull in pieces that only they could share. That's not necessarily going to be something that another student would write. Uh, and, and so I think pulling in resources and attaching them to a discussion prompt is oftentimes a good way to get students talking.